Hello and welcome to the video. This is another video with Marcus. Now, Marcus is the gentleman behind both the eCalc website, which is a fantastic tool that you can go on to, plug all your numbers in and find the ideal motor and prop combination for the model that you have and the way that you want to fly it. He also has a website that sells motors and power systems for fixed wing aircraft as well. I'll put links down below so you can check both of them out. Now, Marcus has probably forgot more than I know about how to select a motor and prop. And together, we have done a number of videos over this year talking about how you select motors and props for fixed wing. Also getting into quite a bit detail about how you can fly for longer, how you can fly uh, faster and how you can make a model easier to get into the air, either for hand launching or for 3D acrobatics. And last time, if you remember, we talked about this little thing here where we're actually talking about the fact that you can't have speed, easy launches and endurance. You kind of have to prioritize one over the other two and that then will kind of dictate how the system all goes together. But there is one thing that Marcus and I have not demonstrated and that is what do you do if you have a brand new model? What if you don't have an existing setup that you want to tweak to make it fly faster, longer, easier to launch? What about if you literally have just finished building your balsa model uh, or maybe you've had an old glow or IC model that you want to convert to electric? Where do you start? Now, the cool thing is that Marcus was going through this with me and I said, Marcus, please, can we make a video where you explain this? Because this is really good. There are lots of different ways to try and calculate what kind of motor and prop you need on a model. And there are kind of rules of thumb, things like the watts per pound that a lot of the guys in America use. I don't particularly like that because it doesn't take into account the way that you actually want to fly it and the particular model yourself and things like the maximum prop size and stuff like that too. However, with eCalc, you can absolutely do it. You can figure out the amount of watts per kilogram that you need and the range is about 120 from very floaty glider style models up to a whopping 400 watts per kilogram for really, really fast 3D acrobatics, hotliner style models and everything in between. The steps that you have to go through to not only decide how many watts per kilogram you want, but then to go and choose the battery, motor and prop, and then run the calculation through eCalc to find out how that's going to look is a really cute way of doing it. And it's going to get you very close to the final answer. It might not get you straight away to the final answer because again, you might want to tweak that setup to be faster, have more endurance or be easier to launch see the rest of the videos in the series. All of this is detailed in the help location in the eCalc website, but I thought it would be fun for Marcus to take us through it. So Marcus, over to you to go through the process. So when you would like to uh, design your propulsion, so you go to eCalc.ch and choose the prop calc for the airplane on the left of the corner then you get to the eCalc on the right normally it chooses your language of the system so I have to switch to English here we are so we take an example of a three kilogram aerobatic airplane so we start on the upper left corner uh, three kilogram Aerobatic, uh, it's about 1.5 meter wingspan and uh, 50 square decimeter of uh, wing area. When you choose the help on the upper right corner, you get uh, the help for eCalc and here you will also find the steps we will follow in, the, in this sequence. So first of all, we define what we want to do with this airplane. So we would like to do uh, dynamic aerobatics. So that means we need about 200 watt per kilogram to do what we want. So for our example, we will choose uh, about 200 watts per kilogram. That means we need 600 watts of power 
to do the dynamic aerobatics. So the next step is we choose a battery we have already in our stock. So you make a, a, the best is you make a system you can reuse the batteries in other airplanes. So for myself, I always use uh, 4S batteries. So I can do airplanes with 4S, 8S and 12S. So in, by connecting them in series. So for this airplane, a 4S will be sufficient, like 300 milliamp, uh, uh, 3000 milliamp hours 4S. Uh, the controller uh, we choose later and now we come to the picking the motor picking the motor that you you have an idea what we can do is uh, we take a size that can absorb the power and we can say about three to five watt per gram mass of the uh, motor, we can throughput this power. So that means for 600 watts, we need about a motor that is about 150 grams. So here is a search, we can search for this. So I reduce the search to one um, manufacturer so that, that the list is not too overwhelming. So what we, we want, we want a motor that can absorb at least 600 watt and is between, let's say, 130 and 180 grams. We do the search, then we have here a list of, of, uh, of motors still long, so I reduce it further to about uh, let's say 300 to 1000 kV. So here we are. Huh? And when you have seen the motor here, 160 grams, uh, I can just click on the motor and it, it will take it over to ETEL. And here we are. So the next is choosing a prop, APC electric, for this size of airplane, around 50, uh, 15 inches is the regular prop that has sufficient uh, ground clearance. So I take 15 by 10 prop and let's see what EPOC says for this. So now we see we have chosen a KV that is way too high. So we end up at 116 amps. So we take the same type of motor, but reducing the KV. So we have a 660 KV. So now we get closer to this uh, 600 watt. We're still at 700. And so then we end up here at with the lowest KV. And here we are, 625 watts. That, that's what we are aiming for. We get a 3.4 kilograms of thrust and a pitch speed of uh, 93. That sounds reasonable when you compare to the stall speed here. So it's about three times the stall speed. So that looks like a reasonable setup for this airplane. And with the 45 amps, we now have as a result we can also fine tune now the controller we need. So let's say I always take about 20% uh, of margin towards the maximum of the controller. So for this uh, setup, I would choose a controller around 60 amps. So we correct this now to 60 amps, recalculate, and it stays about the same as before. 
So there you have it, that is how to do it. First of all, you need to figure out how many watts per kilogram you need for the particular model and style of flying. You need to know some basics about the model itself, particularly things like how much it's gonna weigh. Don't forget to include the weight of things like your batteries on action cameras if you have those in the Model 2. Then you need to pick your preferred battery. Personally, I would always try and use battery cell sizes for stuff I've already got. I like to take only two or three different batteries types to the field and then it means I can just use them with whichever model is taking my fancy for the next flight. I don't have to have two different batteries for every single model I take that means you know I've got a whole backpack full of lipos. The cute thing with then knowing how big your prop is and figuring that out and then tweaking the motor size to get all of those little uh, arrows in the green area within eCalc is the trick and once you've got that so that it looks similar to how Marcus did it you know you're pretty close. Now as it's Christmas Eve uh, Marcus wanted to give a little bit of a present to all of the people watching this video there is a timed trial so for the next seven to ten days there is going to be access to the full version of eCalc for free so do check out the bits and pieces below if you have been thinking about maybe doing a build over the winter months and you have a bit of time between Christmas and New Year, then you've got a chance to go into eCalc and have a play and use some of the knowledge that you've got. Again, don't forget all the other stuff that's in the motor and prop series this year is really handy if you don't understand how things like thrust, speed, efficiency all work together and how you kind of go about fixing and optimizing a motor prop battery ESC setup for a fixed wing. If you watch those videos, you'll be in a really good place in order to make some informed choices. So from Marcus and me. Yeah, I wish you Merry Christmas. A very hearty best wishes for the Christmas season. Have a fantastic time and as always, happy flying. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.